Okay, hey, what is up you guys? Okay, today we're going to be doing the best way to get OP fast in Dark Souls 3, alright? I did just put up a video about the best classes that I personally think and the best starter items for the game. Okay, so as you can see guys, I have taken the Pyromancer. This is my absolute favourite class, okay? And I did take the Black Fire Bombs as my starting gift, okay? So... When you start the game up, alright, you do have these little messages on the floor. This teaches you how to control the camera and everything like that. Alright, so let's look at the best way to get overpowered quickly. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change around my equipment a little bit. So I'm going to put my Pyromancy Flame into my weapon hand so I still have my shield available and I can still cast my Pyromancies. Alright, that's just the way I like to play. Okay, so you don't have to worry about doing anything like that, but let's get started. Alright, so you can read through all these if you aren't sure on how to play the game. Alright, teaches you how to lock onto targets, etc, etc. But, basically, you just want to get through this little starter tutorial as quick as possible so you can get to the nitty gritty and get some bits. Alright, always explore everywhere you can because as you can see there is an item hidden over here. It's just a soul, you know, a little soul of a deserted corpse, but at the start of the game, you want to get your souls up as quick as you can, alright? You want as many souls pouring in so that you can level yourself up real fast. Alright, so anyway, let's just take out these enemies, simple stuff, alright, that's your Ash and Estus flask. Alright, if you are new to this game, that basically re <clears throat> refills your blue meter. Okay, so at the top in the left-hand corner there, as you can see, you have your health, which is the red bar. Your blue bar is your spells or your, um, <clears throat> excuse me, your miracles. And the green bar is your stamina. Okay, so that is what your starter class, that's what your basic looks will be. Alright, so you've got your starter class, you've got everything you need, you've got your health, you've got your mana, and you've got your stamina. Alright, so let's just smash through this part of the game real quick. Get this over and done with. Just take you guys out. Okay, so first of all, before you nip down that little sideway, you got to take this guy out, alright? Make sure you just dodge. Whenever these guys fire at you, they fire pretty slow. You can just dodge out of the way. Alright, using your dodge and mastering your dodge early in the game is so important because if you don't know how to dodge later on in the game, you're really, really going to struggle. Okay, it says turn back. There is a reason for that because on the other side of this, there is a giant crystal monster. Alright, this thing is a pain, but there's a pretty decent item over there. As you can see, you can try and take this thing on if you want. I definitely wouldn't recommend it at the start of the game. Um, it is pretty hard to take out. You know, if you don't do a lot of damage, just make sure you dodge out of the way. Quickly grab that soul and get out of dodge. Alright, because he will mess your day up pretty badly. Alright, just keep an eye on him. See what he's doing. Make sure he's not going to sneak up behind you and one-shot you. Just roll out of the way and get off. Right, he ain't going to follow you any further than that. So you've got a couple of uh, souls that you've picked up, alright, um, you go in your inventory, alright, use to acquire souls, and again, same with this, it's just used so you can get some souls. The more souls you have at the start, the better. So let's get to the nitty gritty of it. Alright, so there's nothing really of interest around here um, that you're going to want to get at the very start of the game, alright, but there is one item that's not hidden, but you do have to do like a strafe jump to get to it. Um, Alright, so here's your bonfire. You want to light that. Alright, these bonfires are basically your checkpoints in the game. Okay, so when you rest at a bonfire, it resets all enemies. Alright, but it also refills your Estus flasks, your health, everything. Okay, so if you're struggling, you've hardly got any health, you've got no potions left, find yourself a bonfire. Alright, and that will re... Obviously, it will activate all the enemies again, which is a bit annoying, but to be honest, it's not really that important. If you've got yourself some health and things like that, you can learn from your mistakes. Okay, this guy here, he's just a pain in the ass. Take him out. Dodge him away. Take him out. Nailed it. Okay, so remember I was saying that there's an item you've got to strafe jump to? It's this, okay? So, to strafe, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the run button, alright? And then you're going to tap your left thumbstick down, and that will give you a jump, alright? Like so. You're going to want to time that just right so that you land on top of this little coffin here. Alright, do a little roll into the tree. There you go. Get yourself a nice tight night shard right at the start of the game. Beautiful. You use that to upgrade your weapons, alright? There's a guy here. Just lock onto him. Drop down and hold R1 or uh, whatever console you're using. Or if you're on PC, obviously use the attack, the standard fast attack, alright? And that will just kill him pretty instantly. Alright, let's just play with this guy. Alright, you can try and get behind them and 
our attacks. Alright, we've had very good. Um, but it's not really that important. Alright, you can just take them out any way you want. These guys are easy. Okay. This is the first boss of the game. Alright, he can kill you very, very quickly if you're not careful. Okay, so this might take you a few tries if you are new to the Dark Souls series. Okay, but my best advice for you is stick close to him. Alright, and just hit him a couple of times and dodge out of the way because he does so many swinging attacks that he will just absolutely mess your day up, alright? Um, so yeah, my best advice for this guy is stick close to him, keep locked on to him, keep an eye on him and try and learn his move pattern, alright? And uh, you can take him out there, alright? Attack him as much as you can while he's getting up, take his health down a little bit, alright? Watch out for his attacks and dodge out of the way, right? One, two, and then stay back, alright? Just keep dodging. And just hit him a couple of times, guys. You won't have any issues if you keep doing that. Oh, yeah. As you can see, right, one hit has just taken away a third of my health. Keep your health up high. If he hits you another two times, that's it. Game over. Alright, swing it away. And hit him a couple of times. Alright, use that dodge as much as you can, alright? This is a really annoying boss for right to start gaming. The DT series is something that we can do. Alright, it's, uh, it's not the best, alright? Because you're the Pyromancer class, you can use that to your advantage. You can stay back and just attack with fireballs. Personally, I don't always advise this because it does take a long time to swing these fireballs around. So it does not really do very quickly, as you can see here. Alright, he will just continuously charge at you. Okay, but use the dodge. Alright, so heal. Don't always heal instantly either. Wait for an opportunity straight after the attack to get that uh, get that healing in there. Alright, more fireballs. Alright. That sucks. Alright. I'm just gonna get my uh axe back out or if get in nice and close I'm gonna do the type of Alright, don't just think, hold it, he's got no health, I'm gonna run in and try to take him on. I want her because he will kill you, alright? So as you can see, there's definitely ways to kill you. Use that dodge to your advantage. If you get hit, alright, roll away, wait till after an attack that he's you've dodged and then heal, alright? Don't just heal straight away because he will just grab a hold of you and throw you about the place like a ragdoll. Alright, so that is the first one. Okay, there is another bonfire here if you need it. Alright, let's just restore those Estus flasks. Alright, so as you can see, I've got no health potions left. Alright, and now I've got all three again. If you look up in the top corner, right to your left, alright, you'll notice that your health bar has dramatically increased. Okay, this is because you have the power of Ember. As you can see, you're all kind of glowy and shit, alright? So this basically means that you can now summon other players into your world, and you can summon, you can be summoned into other, other worlds, and you have more health, you are stronger, do a bit more damage, alright? To keep this up, don't die. <laughs> if you do die, you do have to use an ember to restore this or defeat a boss, either in your game or in a friend's game. Alright. Um, so yeah, alright, so let's just get these items here. And this is where the start of the game is really, really important. At this section of the game, you can make yourself so overpowered, it's not even funny. Like, if you just take out these guys right real quick, Watch out for that, that bull guy up there, he's a pain in the ass. Right, this guy with the shield, same as before, use the dodge. Oh. Okay, so, this is really important, alright, if you want a good start to the game, if you want your game to be a little bit easier, alright, when you approach this area, this is going to take you into Firelink Shrine, alright, so yeah, you want to go in there, but first, you want to have a look around here, okay guys, you want to come up here, and you will see this guy. Alright, he's just stood up there. He has an Uchi Katana. Alright, a very, very good weapon. So you're going to want to kill him. Alright, but not yet. Don't kill him just yet. Alright. Just uh, just make sure you're aware this is where he is. Okay, he is really annoying. He's like a super, super easy boss or a super, super hard enemy. I think is the, probably the best way to put it. It's like a mini boss. He has an Uchi Katana, which if you're going for a dex build, you want as soon as you can. But the reason you want to kill him right at the start is because he becomes a summonable character for you um, when you go to take on the, the second boss of the game, alright? So you're going to want to be able to summon him in, and he will give you a hand to taking them out, alright? So as before, just explore around. There are items hidden everywhere, alright? Just have a look around, spend the time. Oh, doggo. Yeah. 
forgot about that. Watch over the dog. <laughs> He's a pain. Alright, so as you can see, heading away over here, we have Ember. Alright, like I said, that's how you get this fiery, glowy, super strengthy type thing going on. You need Embers for that. Okay, so this is your Firelink Shrine. This is like your home hub. Alright, this is where all your vendors are going to be. This is where you come to level yourself up. You talk to her there. Alright, you can send, spend those souls and level yourself up. Okay, these are your NPCs, they have different quest lines and things like that that you can do. Alright, um, so first things first, yep, yeah, you know that this is here. Don't talk to her just yet, don't do anything just yet, alright, because we're going to go and we're going to go and get some cool items, alright. So you're going to want to come up here, so as you come in the front door, just take a right and follow this all the way up till you reach these here. Come outside and you will reach this tower. Alright, there's a little light in there. Now, this is a bit of a cheat, alright, it's never been patched, but if you're going to want to be able to do this, it does take a bit of time. Uh, I do apologise if this is going to take me a few different attempts to do this, alright, just remove all of your clothing, it makes it a little bit easier because you're lighter. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run up this tree, alright, you're going to run up this tree and then you're going to jump sideways and try and get onto this roof. Okay, that is the best thing to do at the start of the game because you will see why in a second. It is a nightmare, it's really difficult to do. Alright, it is just one of those really awkward things that games have. Alright, you're not supposed to be able to do it, hence why it's awkward. But it is 100% doable, as you can see. Okay, so now you're back up here. Get yourself some Homeward Bones and feel free to get your equipment back on. Alright, get yourself dressed up so you're not walking around in the buff day anymore. Alright, and then select your... that's a 52, uh, that's a 55, I'll take that for now. Okay, so at the start, in my last video, I said to you about taking these black fire bombs. okay? The reason for that is, you're about to meet Pickle P. Alright, Pickle P is this NPC that lives up here in a nest, okay? And you can bring them stuff, and they will exchange it for other stuff. Okay, so we're about to have a little bit of dialogue here. You, you, pum pa dum pum pa dum pickle pee, pickle pee, whatever. Right? So, what you need to do then is you need to go into your inventory and you need to drop one of these. So, leave and just press that. Alright? And he will get like super excited, start screaming pum pa dum and everything like that. Alright? So, that's your one of your uh, little fire bombs and you now have a Titanite chunk. Alright? And Titanite Chunks are really, really hard to come by in this game, okay, they really are. Okay, it allows you to reinforce a weapon to plus nine, okay, so you're going to want to keep a hold of that. Alright, uh, there are other items you can use at the start of the game, you can use Estus Shards, you can use all sorts of stuff to get different weapons, but I wouldn't recommend it at the start anyway, I would just say get that, and that will help you out. Alright, and one of these walls is actually a uh, hidden area. Okay, so when you come straight through here from outside, alright, you come into the middle and you head straight over, alright. This will take you to this little hidden area, okay, and this is where you will find the best ring in the game, okay. In this chest here, alright, this is it, this is what you want, this is how you're going to get OP. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, okay. So you're going to want to put that on as soon as you can. Fallen Foes yield more souls. Alright, you get a 30% boost to souls dropped by enemies, alright? Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about it, you know, if it's like a thousand souls for an enemy, you're going to get 1300. Alright, when you start fighting bosses, that's when it makes all the difference. You're going to want to get as many souls in your character as fast as you can right at the start of the game, and you're going to get OP real quick, just because of that ring. Alright, definitely... 100% follow this guide get that ring and you will see exactly what I mean Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go and activate this embed the coiled sword And then we're gonna go and take out that Uchi Gitana wielding guy. All right He's called Swordmaster, I think if I'm not wrong. All right, we'll just Rest at the bonfire get everything reset so house all the way back up and we will go and take him out And then we'll do a little bit of shopping Okay, so let's go and fight this douche canoe. Alright, he is a pain in the ass, but if you just stick away from him, if you've got the pyromancer, this is where it's going to be nice and easy. Alright, your fireballs do quite a lot of damage to him. If not, use that shield, block out of the way of his attacks, and just attack him once or twice every so often. Alright, so you're going to lock onto him as quickly as you can. Sometimes you're fortunate and he just chucks himself off a cliff, 
for some reason he just does that um, but yeah just use those fireballs keep him at a distance because if he starts swinging that katana yeah it's going to hurt alright you see he's doing that pose alright where he was like holding the weapon to the side that means he's about to do a swing attack alright and that attack will take away most of your health alright so just avoid that like the plague alright he will mess your day up pretty bad that one there alright watch out for that <clears throat> it is, it's not fun. Alright, so you want to use your Ashton Estes Flask. And then get in with the fireballs again. Literally, just hold him at a distance, use your fireballs, and take him out nice and slow. If you don't have that option, <laughs> you can try and have a, a fight with him, but I would definitely recommend one swing and then get out of the way. Because his attacks come hard and heavy, and as you can see, that just took away half my health. One hit. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, he is going to mess your day up, unless you stick as far away from him as possible. Alright, go back here, I'm just going to heal, I'm just going to use my fire bombs, because, you know, that's why I love this Pyromancer class, because it keeps life easy. Alright, just one more should do it, I think, I don't know, and again, there you go. Alright, that's him taken care of. He drops quite a lot of souls, 2,200 souls, alright, so normally you'd only get 2,000 for that, because you've got your silver ring. Alright, you get an extra 200 souls there, which is always helpful. Alright, come down here, you're going to want to just take yourself into this bonfire and get your health and potions back, and we'll do some shopping. <clears throat> okay, so, one item that is like really important, I personally think, at the start of the game, you get from her. Alright, you get from this shopkeeper here. Um, so, what you want to do is you're going to buy what is called your white sign soapstone okay so this will allow other players to summon you into their world okay when you kill enemies in another player's world you get souls when you kill a boss in another player's world you get souls all right it is so worth the grind at the start of the game to make your life easy for yourself okay um you don't really need to buy anything else at this moment in time because your armor is already going to be pretty good unless you're deprived then you're going to want to try and get some chain armor um you know, but the way I play the game, I stick with the Pyromancer all the way through. Um, you know, but this is so important, your White Sign Soapstone. Um, because you can grind the game out a little bit, help other players with their uh, with their playthrough, pick up souls, and level yourself up pretty rapid. Alright, this guy here, he's your blacksmith, he's gonna allow you to upgrade your weapons and all that other fun stuff. Alright, he's a pretty decent bloke. <clears throat> so you can reinforce your weapons here. Alright, so you need two Titanite Shards to upgrade your weapons. There's that Uchi Katana, <clears throat> if you are a dexterity build. As you can see, you require 16 dexterity to use this weapon efficiently. Okay, and you get a C bonus for attribute bonuses. Alright, the higher that level is, so if it's an A bonus, you will get a ton of extra attack damage, etc, etc, just for using that class uh, with a high level of dexterity. So say, for example, your dexterity was at 25, you're going to get a massive boost here to... Uh, to dexterity and to damage with this weapon whereas strength you're getting E so it's not really going to make a lot of difference um, same with this alright this is your hand axe if you're a pyromancer you get you get a better attribute bonus if you're stronger but I don't really focus on strength okay this is where you can infuse your weapon alright so if you did pick that fire gem right at the start of the game like I said in my last video this is when you can turn your weapon into a fire weapon Okay, uh, repair your equipment, you can allot your Estus, alright, so if you're not using magic at all, you can set all of your Estus class to be potions, or if you're more highly magic based, you can put more magic, it's entirely up to you, I prefer to just keep 3 at 1, but use that Estus shard you picked up, up top, next to Pickle P, alright, and then you've got yourself an extra Estus, alright, 3 to 2, that's the best way to keep it, alright, so let's go and level ourselves up. Alright, this is entirely up to you, it doesn't matter how you want to go about doing this, um, this is just spending those souls that you've got to level yourself up. Okay, so you're going to level up, you're going to do whatever you need to do, um, whatever kind of attributes you want to work on. Um, for me, I think I'm going to go... Da -da 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 -da. I think I'll take two in decks. Um, I'll take... Two in vigor, and I'll go one in intelligence. Okay, so that's going to increase the damage of my hand axe a little bit. It's going to increase my health, and it's going to increase the damage of my um, pyromancer glove. All right, so use them souls, level yourself up. 
Oh, and now you are ready to go. All right, you can look around. You can talk to these NPCs. They'll give you different emotes and things like that. So you got claps. Um, there's a guy up here, like I said in my last video, that if you speak to him, he will appear here soon. All right, you speak to him. He's going to give you some cracked red eye orbs, and that will allow you to invade other players' worlds and just be a nuisance. Get some souls, kill people. You know, do what you got to do. Um, so yeah, let's go to this part of the game now. I'm probably going to take this all the way up to the second boss, alright, um, just for giving you these starter tips and helping you get pretty overpowered pretty quickly, alright, depending on how you want to play, obviously, these are just little things that will help you guys out. Oh, god, coffee is so good. Ay, 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 ay. So, loading, 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 alright. So, yep, yeah, okay, the start of the game isn't exactly the easiest in the world, but it's Dark Souls, okay? But you can make the game easier. Just follow these simple steps, guys. It's, you know, little things go a long way in this game. Alright, understanding dot. oh wow. Nice. Yeah, so, you know, understanding how different enemies react to different things and different move patterns and stuff like that is key to this game. But use the dodge, alright, this isn't a game this kind of like Diablo or anything like that where you can just run in all guns blazing hoping for the best because you will just suffer massively all right um so when you come to this part okay you have two choices you can either take the left or you can go right I would definitely recommend going right to start with but make sure you take this route because there is this guy hidden here he will just shoot you and cause you a nuisance all right take him out and then take the stairs down. We've got two dogs and a couple of uh, simple little NPCs. They're not going to bother attacking you. Alright, they'll just leave you alone unless you attack them. But obviously you're going to attack them because they give you stuff. So just kill them. You don't feel bad about it. They're not doing anything. Um, you, know, you don't get a lot, but hey, 30, 40, 50 souls. Are not too bad. Take out this dog and then you can focus on this big guy. You see him coming down the stairs. Alright. So this guy here, he holds a halberd, alright, he's slow, he's just an he's easy enough to kill, you know, he's a bit dumb, just sneak up behind him, if you can, get that power attack in, alright, that'll take you his health away, as soon as he gets up, a couple of little things, dodge out of the way, and another small trick back, done, alright, simple, easy stuff, alright, unfortunately didn't drop anything for me this time, this guy, again, he's got a big axe, do not let him hit you, cause you worlds of pain. Alright, but he's slow, he's clunky, use the dodge, throw your fireballs, whatever you can do, stay away from him because it will mess you up. Okay, is he gonna drop anything for me? Negative. Okay, so up here, right, this is a difficult bit of the game, alright. You have an enemy that will basically transform into a giant monster slug thing and just be a, a general nuisance, alright. Um, so he's going to start evolving shortly. Do not hit him, whatever you do. Alright, keep him for this thing. Alright, use your fire on him. He's just super susceptible to fire. Alright, every time, the first time you kill him, you can just be taking a shard, which you're going to need for upgrading the weapon. Okay, alright, you take him out. Alright, as you can see, oh, he's giving me a dark gem and a titanite shard. Nice. That's good. That means I can infuse my weapon and make it dark. Alright, dark is a really, really good infusement. Alright, definitely would recommend 100%. Especially against other players. Um, human enemies. Alright, dark is really, really important. So already, I'm now able to upgrade my weapon. Alright, but I'm not going to bother with the hand axe because it's not a great weapon. There is a weapon in about 10, 15 minutes that you're going to get. Uh, the Astora Short Sword. <laughs> Jesus. The Astora Short Sword. Um, is a really, really good weapon for the start of the game. Alright, yeah, you can just go back to your bonfire. You're not going back over there, so don't worry about the weight of those enemies. And it is so good. I use that weapon so far into the game, it's not even funny. I just level that up um, stupidly high very, very quickly. Okay. Um, just gonna take these guys out. So, these. Alright, you're going to want to take this guy out, because if he starts screaming and shouting, all these other enemies are just going to come and start attacking you. It's just annoying. Yeah, they're easy to kill, but there is quite a lot of them. You can get quite easily overwhelmed. So 
So definitely take him out ASAP Rocky. This guy here, please that dodge. He will hit you. Well. Cool. So yeah, take out as many of these guys as you can, pick up them souls. All with the souls and dark souls. Yeah, the reason this game is so frustrating for so many people is yeah, the difficulty I would say is fair. Alright, the enemies can be as tough. Um, even more tough than you are, which is why people suffer a lot, um, because they expect it to be one of these games where, you know, the enemies take one hit and die. But the biggest thing is, if you die, right, whatever souls you have on your possession at that point in time, right, your XP, you say, you drop it, okay, and you have one chance to collect it. If you die again, all of your souls are gone, okay? Oh yeah, drop down here. And there's this nifty little item here, it's a gold pine resin that will apply lightning to your weapon for a temporary period of time, which is super important because the first boss is turbo susceptible to lightning. Okay, so that's a really good little uh, little thing to have there. But yeah, back to what I was saying, alright, if you die, you know, you're going to drop all your souls and you have one opportunity to get them back. If you do not get them back, then they're gone forever, alright? You could be sat with like 20, 30,000 souls on you, because you're grinding, you know, by the time I go back to upgrade my character, I'll probably have like 25, 30,000 souls on me. And if I die and lose them, you will probably see me get exceptionally angry very, 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 very quickly. You know, because it takes a good hour or so to pick up that amount of souls for it all to just dwindle away in front of your face. Alright, so definitely... You know, if you're going to die, <laughs> try not die twice in a row before you get your souls, alright? Don't make it a main priority, don't run into a crowded area just to try and get those souls back, alright? Think smart, alright? Don't be an idiot. The game will pick up on that and just absolutely destroy your face massively. Alright, let's take this guy. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so you're going to want to run up here to the top until the dragon comes. Alright, and when he arrives, just run away directly killing every enemy in that area. The best thing is, you can get all the souls for it. You know, only a couple hundred, but still, souls are souls. Alright, so we're taking them out. This way. Fire. Fire. Okay, so we're just gonna run. Right, just away. Okay, we've got a spear. Okay, keep running, because there's a knight just about to come out of the doorway, you don't want to mess with him just yet. He's going to come out of the door, just to the floor. Go on the floor. Yeah, don't mess with him just yet, alright, he is pretty hard to kill. Um, unless, obviously, <laughs> you're the Pyromancer, which makes your entire life a lot easier to start this game. That's why I said in my last video, definitely the Pyromancer, because you can just stay as far away from these guys as you want and, you know, throw fireballs at them all day long. This guy just jumps out again. They're not too bad, you know, they do ta attack very quickly, but... Okay, so, run over here, collect your item. Don't fall down that way because you'll probably die or lose most of your health and there's a guy with a halberd sat down there. He's just going to stab you in the face. Okay, so yeah, run up the top, blah 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 blah, light your bonfire, and then chill, right? Rest at it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to place down my soapstone. Alright, um, I'm just going to remove them because I don't need them. I'm going to place my soapstone down. Alright, which is going to allow other players to summon me into their world if they so desire to. Alright, so that'll just sit there, it'll pop up in other players' worlds, um, and people can summon you in. And they will get your help, which is always good, gets you lots of souls. Um, if you're in part of a coven, um, you can actually get covenant points for it, uh, depending on what coven you're in, etc, etc. The majority of the time it is just for taking out that final boss. Um, for, oh, there we go, being summoned already. So this is how this is going to work. Alright, I'll get summoned into the other player's world. We'll say hello, we'll wave at each other, jump around like idiots, and then we'll go and kill some enemies. You still get souls. Going to help him fight that final boss, and then um, we'll come back to this original gameplay. And the whole reason I do this is just for the grind at the start of the game. Okay, here we have D Rose. What's up, D Rose? Let's give her a nice little wave. Hey. Alright. 
So yeah, you as you can see, you're bright white. Once you join my favorite coven, which is the uh, <laughs> Warriors of the Sunlight coven, you become like gold. So, oh, wow. He's just moonwalking his way out of that door there. Right, okay, let's just take this guy out. So yeah, I'll just go on the grind and just, you know, attack enemies and stuff. The only problem is, is you don't get full Estus when you do this. Alright, it take, you only get one each, which is a bit annoying, um, but you can gain health. You can gain Estus as well, sometimes it just randomly gives you some, or I think is if you kill so many enemies or you get a certain amount of souls or something like that. But yeah, I'm just going to get the guy out, just some fireball. Uh, some, uh, Get some uh, goals and cheerio, mate. Gonna drop anything for me? Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. I'm just trying to get souls. Right. No, 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 Remember before how there was that guy that evolved? Yeah, there's another one. Right, yo. Come over here and kill this. These things here, guys, alright? These are stupidly rare and important, alright? If you find any of these, kill them, because they will run away and they burrow themselves away. But they give you like titanite gems, they give you all sorts of really cool stuff, so you want to grab them ASAP Rocky, alright. Um, so you're going to come down this ladder, and we're going to kill some more enemies, get some more souls, do some bits. This is where the important stuff is hidden, okay? We can go in here, we'll just take this guy out. There's gonna be an enemy that's gonna come behind me in a sec. Alright, there's a couple of really good items hidden around this area. Uh, you will see it when I go back to my own world. Okay, but this game is full of hidden areas. As you can see, she's gonna go pick up these items. Alright, you wanna get these hidden areas ASAP. Alright, there's stuff hidden here and these pots. Alright, he's got an item that's just pretty good. Um, you're gonna take this guy out, he's a pain in the ass. I'll just sneak up and power attacks. Alright, use them fireballs, bitch! Mess his day up. Alright, he does quite a lot of damage. I reckon she's probably gonna die. Careful. Alright, that's him taken out. There's an item in this corner, on him. Now, this is where the cool items are, alright? Right. Gonna point. Gonna point. Hopefully she gets it. Just wait for her to come back. And this is why this is good. All right. Oi. Hello. Ugh. Fucking useless man. But um, yes. Yeah, so you're gonna want to come over here and hopefully try and get the other player over here as well. Right. She's just down there doing bits. Put up here. Let's go find her and bring her up here. Cause I'm nice like that. Whenever I'm playing with other players, I always show them all these little tips and tricks and things like that. Hello? Hello? Oi! This way! I'm trying to help you. Come on. Oi. Honestly, man. Come on. Follow me. It's like one of the best weapons in the early game. Come on. Right. Come on. You're just... Uh, 
This is the most frustrating thing. Alright, usually I would have my mic on in the actual gameplay so I'd be able to talk to her, but, you know, here I am streaming with you guys. I'm just trying to show her where this weapon is. Alright, if she doesn't get her shift on, I'm just going to ignore it. Alright, it's a really good shield up here. There's also a really good weapon. I'm just going to point. Come this way, douche canoe. Ugh. Right. Another thing that's hidden down here as well, guys. There's a key down there um, on this guy, this enemy that's next to this dog. And that's for releasing the prisoner who will later on become a very important uh, shopkeeper in the game. Come down here, get your key. Thank you. Right. Hopefully she'll follow me now. <laughs> So frustrating. Right, so, you're gonna come up this way, hopefully you wouldn't have had to do all this because, you know, you would have just gone there in the first place. This way. Where are you go? Oh, Hello? Right. Where is she gone? Okay, well, I'm just gonna show you guys because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, I was trying to show you guys. Uh, as you come along here, all right, you're gonna want to drop down here and this chest here. Okay, in there is like a super good weapon. All right, you can't get to it unless you go that way. Um, so you're gonna want to get that pretty sharpish. But obviously she's not interested. No! This way! Oi! Oh, she's sending me home. She doesn't want my help. Well, fine. Send me home then. But I got some souls out of it, so, you know, this is what happens when you try and help people. Alright? You try and help people, try and be a nice guy, but no. They just send you home. Fine. Fine by me. Let's take this guy out now. Alright, back to my home world. I'll just join in whenever it gets to the boss area. Um, you know, I'll just show you guys what I was on about. Oh, what have we got? Oh, a Lothric Knight Sword. Alright, this is probably one of the best drops you can get from this character. Um, the Lothric Knight Sword does require really high dexterity to use, but it is super overpowered. Alright, it's a really, really good weapon. Definitely, if you're on a dex build, try and grind on them until you get it. Alright. Some throwing knives, they're pretty useful. Okay. So, what we'll do from here is we'll just do the exact same thing we did with her. Go along, kill some bits, and get some pretty decent overpowered items. Right, we'll start again, and that will be it. I'll show you guys tips for the final boss. And then that will be that. Seven. Right, let's get that ice blast going. Right, so now we're at this part again. You know, let this guy evolve. Let him do his thing. All right, he will. Uh, he will transform. Keep a lock on him. Is it him? Where's the other guy? Who do you think I'll scream? Boy, I mean, I'm not going to say. Glad you're not used to it. I'm not going to say. I'm No. Oh wow, he actually killed him. Oh damn! Now that was unexpected. Okay, so, as you're just about to see, I have no souls left. I just dropped 5,400 and something. Which is not good. Alright, it's really, really not good. Make that your priority, just don't be silly about it. Alright, drop down. Don't let any other enemies follow you around because if they backstab you, <coughs> you'll die and you'll lose all your souls. Which is definitely not a good thing, right? So that, that green thing, <coughs> excuse me, 
That green thing there is your soul. Oh wow. Do you know I mean? Don't charge in running for them because you'll probably end up dead. And you do not want to be losing that much soul. Especially when you start the game. Alright, later on, 5,000 souls is nothing. Alright, it's really not even worth blinking over. But around about now, trust me, you're going to want to keep your souls as high as you can. Alright, then we're going to have to pause in and use an ember, get your health and your strength back up. Let's just try and take out this guy again. Alright, it's important that you let him let him mutate, because if you don't, you know, he's going to... He's not going to drop that tight end. Go through the grind, take him out. I mean, 500 souls, Titanite Shard, plus Ember. Alright, then we'll run over here and grab this little thing. Alright, make sure your stamina is at full when you start this, because they do run pretty fast. And there we go. So as you can see, dropped a raw gem. Alright, raw gems are pretty good. That's if you want to go strength. Alright, just makes it into a raw weapon, which is more of your strength build type things. And you get sharp, which is the opposite, which is like a uh, dexterity build. Alright, so depending on how you're playing the game. Watch out for that guy again. Crossbow. Deja vu at its finest. Alright, so as you can see, I can now collect items. You know, I wasn't able to collect items in her world. Alright, I cannot wait to get the kite shield. Alright. Because there's a shield not far from here that gives 100% damage absorption for physical. Which is great because most of the enemies at this part of the game are just going to be swinging swords and axes and stuff at you. So having a hundred percent reflection of damage is, is great. All right, it really is helpful. Or is that the moment? I do still sometimes take I do still take damage every time, even if you use a shield, which is annoying. But you know, there's more Titanite shards, which is great. This guy I almost forgot about you. Okay, so now we're at this point. We're gonna ignore him for now. Smash open. The Get these items on this guy. Undead Hunter Charms, they're good. I'm pretty sure they're the things that stop you from using Estus in a certain area. Yeah. So if you're in a battle, excuse me, with someone, um, you know, someone invades you or whatever, you can use one of them and it stops them from being able to heal. It also stops you being able to heal, but if you're winning, it's definitely worth using. Because um, there's nothing more annoying than when you're just about to kill someone and then they start healing themselves it's just a nightmare. I mean it's the unspoken rules of Dark Souls that, you know, if you're in a battle, just you know, take it. If you're gonna lose, just accept it. You know, you don't have to run off and heal yourself and do all that mental stuff. These guys can be a right pain in the ass. Just try and get behind them if you can. Ooh. Or again Fireball that bitch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh! Rolling, rolling, rolling. I can't believe I died at this point in the game. Like, seriously. That's just proper. You usually die until at least the third or fourth boss. But it just goes to show, you know, if you're not careful, this game will bum you. So he's not going to cool for me, which is sad. So Alright, so we're going to turn up here. Alright, we're going to go and get that weapon. And kick some ass. Alright, so we'll come along here. Take your green blossoms, they're pretty good. They increase your stamina recovery, um, which is pretty awesome. And here we have my favourite weapon for the start of the game. Alright, the Astora Straight Sword. Alright. This here is... You know, a decent enough sword, alright, does pretty decent damage. I mean, if you look at that, that's, I'm doing 122 at the moment. Based on my level, um, you know, I'm getting 136. It's fast, you know, you can swing it a lot. And when you start upgrading it, it becomes really overpowered really, really quickly. Um, so, definitely worth having. This is probably where I'm going to die. Cool. Heal. Come after me. Take them on. 
Bad idea patch. Stupid. Fucking things with the bloody axes and shite. Ugh. Fuck's sake. Apologies for swearing. I shouldn't swear, but this this game sometimes, man. If you get stuck in a corner, you're just gonna suffer so badly. I'm gonna have to run like fucking no man's land to get my bloody souls back. I'm just gonna ignore these guys. Okay. Him right now. Get them souls, because that's quite a lot of souls that I had just now. Like six and a half kids. Sword, also a good weapon. I'm not as good as the uh, store space sword though. Now to find my souls, here we go. Retrieved. Let's just get another one of these do my neck. Right, let's try and not have any more unnecessary deaths. Alright, let's go along here, right? This is where you're gonna find a shield in this little box here. I'm gonna give you your kind of shield. Alright, this shield, like I said, has a hundred percent damage absorption all right so much better than what i've already got if you have the class that starts off with this then you're exceptionally lucky all right physical 100 all right so when you're blocking it will take away a hundred percent of any physical attacks such as like swords axes all that kind of stuff magic 44 fire 45 lightning dark stability etc etc all right so your stability is how well it can withstand heavy attacks all right if you get smashed by like a massive axe it's going to give you a little bit of stability it's probably going to knock you for six though and you're going to become um, open to heavier attacks all right so what you're going to do um how are we going to play this we take the dog? yeah we'll take the dog out first because they're just annoying as you can see, I, I can block all day long, I'm not taking any damage for it. I'm taking away my stamina, but that's it. This is why you want this shield. Alright, early in the game. And you've got that sword there to come in nice and fast. That's a good attack. Let's throw a fireball on this bitch. Fireball! Yeah, bitch, what you gonna do? So yeah, I mean... This is not a bad start, alright? I have died a couple of times unnecessarily. Um, you know, but. Hey, oh, start slashing. Mad at this guy. So you can see what I mean, it's fast, alright? This weapon's fast and gives you quite a high amount of damage. Um, so you can just smash into enemies pretty quickly and they don't really have a chance to do anything about it. Sell key for the prisoner, that's grand. Last but not least, this motherfucker. Right. So you can see why that the Pyromancer is a really good class to start if you're not great at the game. You can just hold back and use your fireball, weaken the enemy, and then come in with a couple of slashes. Alright, we're gonna get to this bit shortly. Don't worry about that for now though. Alright, make sure you search this area, get all these hidden items. Alright, more Titanite shards. I think almost six of them now. How are we doing? Yeah, six. Which means I can do two level upgrades, I think. Yeah, two weapon upgrades. So I'll put my weapon up to level two, which is not bad. Oh, he dropped something. What have you got for me? Leggings. Meh. Yeah. Good if you want to be trading some key. Okay, so I took a little bit of damage there because it's fireballs, alright? Doesn't always give me all the fireballs. Pretty good. Shield. Over 
Alrighty. Um, so yeah, from here, you're going to want to uh, explore a little bit. Um, make sure you've picked up any items that are hidden away. Come down on this rooftop. Alright, there's an item here. Some black fire bombs, etc, etc. And we will get ready to move on. Um, we'll go back and get the prisoner in a wee minute. But for now, we're going to continue along. And do bits. Right, let's do some bits. Okay. Uh, okay, there's this big massive guy who's kind of wandering around with a turbo big axe. <clears throat> you don't have to fight him, you know, I just, I don't bother usually, I just kind of come along here, grab all my bits, have a little rape here. Uh, grab all these embers, all these items, there's another one just down there. You can fight him if you want. It gives you a good amount of souls, but you know, at this point, it's not really massively important. Check this guy up here. Okay, so what's going to happen now is we're going to go to this little area. It's going to open up uh, a shortcut. Okay, from a previous spawn point. All right, so if we come up here, take the lift up. And this will open up this little spawn point. This will this will open up. Sorry, this little shortcut to a bonfire. Not the most recent bonfire you slept at. All right. So what you can do is if you open this up, just run. Don't don't worry about fighting these guys just yet. We'll come back to that in a second. And you'll probably recognise this area from earlier. All right. This is that starting area we were at. All right. And that's just unlocked a shortcut from here to the boss fight. Okay. So. You want to just rest at this bonfire if you can. No, I can. Right, so I died here. I'm coming to deal with you. Hang on. Rest at this bonfire, and then that will save you progress here. And then you've got that shortcut. All right. So if you die or whatever, you can just nip yourself back to. That boss fight, rather than having to trek all that way, as we were doing before, is a bit annoying after a while when you're constantly having to really trek all the way over bridges and up and down ladders and all that fun stuff. Wow, that sucks. So yeah, here's your shortcut. <coughs> Couple more items to grab, and then we're ready for the boss fight. All right, which is awesome. Run, run for the hills, Patch. You're going to die. Yeah. Really quick. I will overpower you so quickly, it's not even funny. Just take one at a time. Right! Oh, God. This item. Uh, run and do a little jump. Grab this item. Ring of Sacrifice. Alright. Ring of Sacrifices are really good. I personally don't use them. Um, but what it basically means is if you die, you don't lose anything. You don't lose your souls. Um, you know, whatever, you keep everything you had, but then the game goes. Alright, so it's like a, a second chance type thing. They are great, but personally I don't use them, because then I know, like, in my head, it sounds a bit weird, but I know that I have that, so I don't try as hard, you know, I don't put as much effort, I don't have that same level of fear that you get when you're like, oh my god, if I die now, I'm so fucking screwed. Um, so yeah, let's head down here and take these guys out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to summon our little sword master money method. He's going to help us take out some of these enemies and then we're going to go fight the boss. And then we'll give you some tricks. Tips and tricks for him as well. Alright. He's, he's not difficult if you know how to beat him. Um, he can be a pain in the ass, but 
I personally think this boss in here is so much easier than the first boss that we already fought. Alright, so as you can see here, alright, Swordmaster. This is that guy from the start of the game with the Uchi Katana. Alright, it's just an extra pair of hands, always helpful. So he'll summon himself in shortly. Okay, and we can use him to go and, go and kill some enemies. Get some bits, uh, get some items and whatnot, and then we're ready for the boss fight. So as you can see, even though he's a big clunky enemy, I'm still absorbing a hundred percent of his damage. He's, gonna take, he's taking all my stamina away though, so eventually it will lead me open to attack. Oh my god! Now he, he's starting fights with the wrong guy. That's great. Dude. Yeah, he's actually really good against the boss, but for some reason he's just acting like a spastic. Just running around and starting fights on like three enemies at once. Egypt. Fireball. No, that's not right. That's not cool. Fireball. Yeah. Cannot remember it. Yeah, you heal yourself. You do that. One more enemy and then we're good to go ready for the boss fight. I don't have any potions left, which isn't ideal, but... We'll be fine. Where is he? I hate this enemy so much. It's so hard to kill. This is why I take the sword back from him, maybe, because he just, you know... We'll attack him. He's attacking him, mate. I need to help. Because if he hits you, like, you'll probably... He can probably one-shot you at this point in the game, this enemy here. So you're going to want to just stay away from him and let the Swordmaster kind of do his thing. I don't know what he's, he's swinging at nothing. Else. Oh my god. Probably I'll have to go take the boss with him. Find gem. Nice. And an ember. But, you know, as you can see, I'm in a world of pain because I don't have any way of healing myself. Ay. Okay. I mean, I could go back and. Oh, uh, do you know what? I've got the items I need. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to just be. A wimp, I'm gonna have to have no balls, I'm gonna have to go all the way back, and... Oh, I don't think I can actually, because I've got him summoned. You know what, fuck it, let's go and take on the boss. Right, I have a third of health, I have no health potions. It'll be fine. Let's just wing it. Let's just wing it. We got any other players we can summon in just for an extra bit of help? Negative. It's just us, big boy. Bloody third of health and no health potions. Ay. See, he has to just wait there. He can't come in with you just yet. If I do this, it just goes to show that this boss is not that difficult. Alright, but watch me get absolutely humped now. <laughs> uh, did it me. Let's skip this cutscene. Right. Um, okay, so the Bort of Boreal Valley. Swordmaster should really start attacking you soon. And I'm dead. Wow. One hit. One hit, guys, and I died. Jesus. Okay, so the one time I say that I'm not going to get health is the time I get hit and die. <laughs> okay, so let's just do this. Ah, oh, sorry, I was just finished my coffee. We're gonna go straight to the boss fight. Alright, we're not gonna mess around with any enemies or anything like that. We're just gonna go straight to this boss fight. Get it over and done with. Don't hit me this place. Oh no! Alright, I have to call the elevator. Well, bye. 
ten thousand souls later. I've got eighty-eight now. Don't die, Clash. That'd be very bad. Very, very bad indeed. Right, so we're gonna go to the boss fight, we're gonna go and summon Mr. Manny in again. So speaking of which, let me just I'll wait until I'm outside the thing just in case I do take any damage. Unnecessarily. Oh, an item. Green blossoms. Bitch. Spin my dodge like a motherfucker. Right. So now we're going to use said Ember. His little sun things gonna appear. And we'll summon his ass in. This is a great point in the game that you can grind as well. Um, once you have defeated this boss, you can just place your summon stone down, people will summon you in, and you can help them fight the boss. Alright. Good for gaining some souls, etc. Fetch rather than swing all the way in the corner. Okay, the best way to fight this boss, guys, right, is grab that booty like you eat the Seriously, stick on his ass like a tomorrow, alright? He can't attack you if you can beat him, alright? Literally, you can sit up the ass and attack him. You eat him. Nothing can do. He will charge around the room and stop you. But just grab that booty, alright? Stick on his ass like you can eat the Seriously, like, you know. Imagine you just spent two hundred dollars for some ass, alright, we're gonna make a that all day long. Seriously, stick on it. Don't run away, just fall down. This is why the sword match is good. It's so big. can't even fucking kill it. Ugh. Right. Let's try again, shall we? Yes. Let's do it. Let's go do it. Because, you know... Just to prove a point. Okay. Um, I should maybe change the name of this video. Instead of being, how to get OP fast, how to suck at killing the board of Muriel Valley, or whatever the fuck it's called. Soon... Not that it didn't. Is that dog still alive? It flipping is. I'm just gonna chuck this up there just in case, you know. Ready for 
next time I inevitably die, because for some reason I cannot play Dark Souls today. Literally yesterday, I was absolutely smashing it. I died a couple of times, but, you know, I was nailing it. And today, I'm just like, not. Oh, oh, oh. cry. Okay, so, third time lucky, guys, huh? Right, you need to die. Shield, no thank you. Boost. You get stabbed in the spinal cord, mate. Yeah. Right. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to help someone instead. That's what I'm going to do. Look at my signs going down. And help somebody to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. <laughs> Just for the sake of the souls. Actually, speaking of the souls, no thank you. I'm I'm definitely getting rid of that. I'm canceling that because my souls are sat in there and if I die again, I'm going to lose them all, which would make me very 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 sad. Because, you know, 10k souls is not a good idea to lose. Right, are you in? Where are you? Right. Are you going to actually help me this time? You. Dickhole. Right. Run for the souls. Let's try and... Right, so what we'll do is we're going to get ourselves up to about 20k souls, alright, and then we're going to go and do some shopping. So what we'll do is we will stick our soapstone down here, alright, and we'll wait to be summoned in, we're going to have a fight. Some enemies first. Okay, there is a thing you can do here if you're feeling brave. Like, if you're feeling like stupidly brave. You can actually initiate a boss fight that doesn't come for quite a while yet in the game um, where you can take on the dancer, alright? And the dancer is exceptionally hard even if you're leveled up to that point where you need to be in the game. But you can actually initiate that boss fight early if you're feeling suicidal 
and you know you have no care for your personal safety and you just kind of get really annoyed and die all the time and do it and I will show you how to do this now once I've taken care of business here with these guys Ouchie! What do you need? What do you need, bro? What's you mad? He's a fire bitch. Some more. Some more. Yeah! Eat that fire! Ready, 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 ready. Yeah. Thank you. One more. One more will do it. Boom! Nailed it. Okay, so in order to, s to start this fight, this boss fight, um, all you have to do is just be an idiot and go in here and talk to this woman, right? She's going to give you the banner that you need um, in order to get to the next level of the game. Right. So you talk to her, she's going to give you the small Lothric banner, talk to her again, she'll give you the way of the blue. Alright, if that's the coven you want to join. All you have to do is, if you want to start this boss fight, is just attack her. Alright, if you just attack her, it will start the boss fight. The dancer will come out of here, and I'm telling you now, 100% categorically will mess your day up. Alright, I have seen it done before, where people have managed to kill the dancer at this point in the game, being this level, etc. But, you know, these people have been playing Dark Souls for years and years and years, and are stupidly good at it. Um, I mean, for the sake of this, I will show you what happens. What on earth? Right, kill her. And, you know, take this. Okay, Basin of Vows. Ah, now the real fight begins. So, yeah, this is just, this is not great. This is not a good idea. But we're going to do it, just because it's a bit of fun. And I will show you just how difficult this boss is. I reckon I give myself... It's now 20 past 12. If I'm still alive at 23 minutes past 12, I will be exceptionally impressed. Alright, I give it 3 minutes and I'll be dead. I mean, I have full health, I have everything I need, but, you know... Look at the amount of damage I'm doing to this thing. It is not even fun. And I'm dead. Well, we got his health down by about a fifteenth in the space of time it took for it to one-shot me. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you can do it. You can try it. Please be my guest. If you do it, I want to see it. Like, please record that shit and let me watch because, you know, I would be so super-duper impressed. Um, okay, so now... Oh, sh shit. I've just realised... I've left all my souls in there, and now that boss fight's initiated, I can't get them back. I can't get them back without beating the boss. Oh! Oh, shh. Eisen. What have I done? Oh, no. Okay, guys, we're, we're in a world of pain here because I need these so, so badly. I should not have done that. That was a really, really bad idea on my part. Okay, uh... Oh, can I... Right, there we go. I'm just gonna run. Okay, escape back to the shrine. Alright, this is a good thing, alright? If you have any homeward bones, alright, if you get yourself in a situation that you... Like, where I am, um, you can just use your homeward bone to take you back to the shrine. You'll have all your souls and everything like that, which is great. So, yeah. Lucky I just remembered that. So yeah, we've got 14,784 souls. <clears throat> first things first, let's go and level up our weapon, whatever weapon you decide. Ah, well, oh, then. excuse Just me. Cheesy peeps. Okay, so you can choose your infuse if you really want to. Uh, you've got raw and refined. Alright, depending on where you want to go with it. Um, that's your dex. If you have more dex build which I probably am going to be. So that gives me 129, that gives me 137, because my dexterity is thingy, right? So that's fine, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for a refined, a sword, a straight sword. And... 
Pretty big. I don't. <laughs> I'm also going to ah, increase what? my reinforce my left flashed. I do it twice. No. And I'm gonna reinforce this weapon to level two. Okay, that's okay. fine. I just want to save the uh, little money. I just forgot about him. Okay, let's go for intelligence, two on dexterity, two on vigor, and get that endurance up, you know, one on vigor, two on endurance, I would say. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Farewell, I shall so any souls I can sell. You can either take the souls or you can uh -huh. just sell them, and it gives you the exact same amount of money. So as you can see, we've collected quite a lot of souls, nine of them. Uh, sort of boreal volley vort. Do not use that. Whatever you do, keep a hold of that because you can then use it later in the game and transpose it into rings and weapons and such. Now let's level up a little bit higher, actually. Um, I think I'm going to go for dexterity and endurance. Oh, darn it. A little bit short. So, real quick. Sell some of these two, sir. Or two of them, I'll sell them. I'm not going to use that. Gucci Katana, I'm uh, probably not going to use it, so I'll sell that. Hand Axe, definitely not going to use that. Spear. I'm going to keep that till later on in the game because it's such an awesome weapon. But I'll just quickly get my uh, decks up. Cool. Now let's go and save the little Manny, get him available as a shop, and then we will end it there, I think. So, you know, it didn't work out as well as I th thought it would. Do we have any undead bone shards now? Um, yeah, we'll go for here, tower on the wall. Um, so what you can kind of do from this point, as I said before, is... Once you've leveled yourself up a bit, you've got your everything you need, you can start just grinding, alright? The grind at the start of the game is really important because you get all the souls, you get yourself leveled up, alright? Uh, I think I'm about level... I don't know what level I'm at. I'm in 19, something like that. I usually stick in this area until I'm at least level 30, alright? I usually stick in this area until I am about level 30, and then you are very overpowered for where you are in the game. As you can see, I'm level 21. Alright, I've got pretty good stats, um, I've got a plus two weapon, which isn't bad, it's not ideal, but it's not bad either. Um, you know, so, this is just where you just do the grind, you know, take the grind, and you just have to kind of deal with it, unfortunately. Uh, you can move on, I don't know, it's not a lot of advising against it, if you want to continue playing, absolutely fine, but... Like I said, I usually grind here till I'm about level 30, and then move on from there. Um, just take it from there, Titanic Shard, oh nice, we need them. Follow this little path, this will take you down to the prison cells. Right, he's going to throw a bomb at you, so just dodge that. Um, this thingy a sec, I'm just taking this guy out. Okay, so this guy, he is a prisoner at the moment. He's going to give you a ring to ask you to take it to Loretta, no, who is no, his partner. Um, so yeah, yeah grant that request. He'll disappear, give you this ring. All right, it doesn't really do much for you. Um, you know, increases your damage absorption when HP is low. So, yeah, you can wear it for now. Something to wear, I guess. Um, so basically what you need to do is go find Loretta and you know, give her that ring. And she will, you know, see what happens from there. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Um in case you haven't played this game before. I don't wanna ruin it for you. Right, this is a good part of the game coming up here as well. You can go and collect that key from the guy that sits in Firelink Shrine. I will show you that shortly. And you can go and fight. 
little mini boss. Um, if you so desire to. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll travel to the other area. And... Huh. Yeah, we'll travel to the other area. Go and put our little uh, soapstone down. Help a few people kill the boss. And then... Um, we will move on. And I'll show you some other cool little tricks. Ugh. Because there is some really, really good items hidden away in the next section of the game. Um, so within like the first two hours of gameplay, you know, you can get yourself ridiculously overpowered. You have good weapons, good rings. There's a ring that I'm going to show you how to get to. It is an absolute bollock to get there, but it is so worth it. Um, it basically rapidly increases your stamina recovery. Um, so it will allow you to attack constantly and your stamina just all pretty much fills up itself back up again stupidly quick so yes now we wait Right, I'm going to go place my soapstone outside and be a nice person and help people. I'll place it right here. here and wait for a momento.
So, um, nothing really seems to be happening here. <laughs> I'm waiting around, but, you know, hey, ho! So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to carry on as before and go get some bits. <clears throat> because, you know, nobody's wanting to play with me. Ay, 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 ay. So yeah, when you get to this part, you're going to be faced with some big ass demon flying things. Raise the banner up and travel to the next part of the game. Where we go and get some more bits, some extra decent rings and some weapons that are going to build that OP build up pretty fast. Uh, like I said, it's not really massively important if you are not playing as a pyromancer or you're playing as whatever. There is definitely weapons and stuff out there for everyone. Okay, these things are creepy. Okay, so we're at the Undead Settlement. Make sure you hit that bonfire. Oh, we've got somebody watching. How you doing? You alright? She shouted and I'm giving up on you. Okay, so when you get to this area, alright, there are a few things that a lot of people first starting out in Dark Souls miss, alright, so I'm going to show you a couple of cool things um, that most people, like I said, just didn't even know about. Like, I've shown this to friends and stuff uh, that play the game and they just were like, I had no idea, so. Okay, so you come down here, there's a couple of dogs, you're going to take them out pretty quick. Just smash their days up, you know, bomb, bomb, nailed it. Get those alluring skulls. Okay, so this part here, you know, you come down here, it doesn't look like there's much going on. It looks like a dead end, yeah? But in reality, uh, there's actually a hidden shopkeeper here. You can see him just moving his stick right there. Let me just let me just point at him. Alright, you see him? He's actually a vendor, if you're a mage <laughs> class. And he also lets you level up. For free, sometimes as well. When you go and see him at certain points of the game, he will give you a free level up on any stat that you decide. Um, so just talk to him a couple of times. Oh, then it's true. Help him up. A champion of All right, he's really important. So accept his services. All right, if you are a mage class, he's really helpful to you. And those free level ups, you're not going to complain about. And just come and grab this item over here as well. Homer bones. Okay, guys. So now we're at this point. We're going to come up here. There's going to be a fight going on between these guys and some dogs. You know, the dogs will probably just take them out for you, which is always nice. Can't really grumble. This is this is the thing about this sword is you know it's got high damage and it's fast. You know you can just swing at it all day long. It doesn't even use up that much stamina either, which is always great. Uh, so yes, who do we have watching? We have somebody. I wish I knew who it was. Hit me up. Hit me a message. These guys take them out pretty quick. All right, we got another bomb fire here. All right. Light that up. Okay, so now we're at this point. Do you know what? I've just realized I don't have my ember. Okay. Okay, you see this? This guy just ahead of me here on top of this tower. Alright, he's going to make your life really difficult in a little while. Um. People say he's an ally and that, you know, you can make peace with him and he'll help you, but I just kill him. Um, you know, just because he's really irritating. And he's like... Hurt. So, yeah, um, come along this way. Alright, this is quite a lengthy bit of the game. I will try and smash it out as quick as I can. Um, again, with these guys, they're slow let them attack you. You've got your shield, you know, they're not going to do any damage to you. Alright, he's off the cliff. Okay, and there's always stuff hidden in these bodies as well. You can see most of them, but some of these, uh, the little white symbol that you get to show you that there is an item there is sometimes hidden, and you can't see it, so always make sure you chop these things down in case. Um... And there are these little 
things that are hidden away. These guys, they are a nightmare, so make sure you're aware of their location. Also, um, and there's going to be one hidden down there. And there's also another one under there as well. You can just see his foot. So be wary of them, because they are a nightmare. And they can do pretty high damage to you, even though it's early game. Um, so yeah, we'll take on this one first. Yeah, out nice and quick. And the same with this guy as well. Just take care of business. Alright, so before we continue on, alright, we're going to just quickly chop down the body that has a very important item in it. Also, alright, so before you carry on, make sure you do explore this little area around here. Alright, and as you can see, there's a corpse hanging here. We're going to want to chop that down and get the remains from that in a sec. Let's quickly take this guy out though. Alright, got some repair powder and worker trousers. Nice. No, 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 no. Alright, so for this part, I mean, there is a little thing you can do. Um, if you want to just equip some bombs. Alright, this will make this little bit, this bit of the game a little bit easier for you. Save you having to fight a bunch of enemies. You can just throw bombs at the uh, barrels. And uh, that will blow them up. Yeah, that will blow them all to high town. Alright, so... First you want to grab this. Alright, this is Loretta's bone. If you remember earlier when we were speaking to the prisoner, he asked you to take this ring, this one, uh, to Loretta, but obviously Loretta is dead, so you need to go inform him as soon as you can. Do not lock onto the enemies here, just throw a bomb and try and hit these barrels. A little bit higher. As you can see, he just blows them to bits. Alright, because yeah, there is quite a few enemies here. Alright, there's a good five, six, seven, eight, nine left. And we just took out like four, so. God. Yeah, so use the barrel to your advantage. Alright, there's no point in sitting fighting if you don't need to. Alright, take these guys out as quick. And then you're gonna wanna fight that big bitch. She's fucking annoying, because she sets herself on fire, tries to fuck you, and then she fires like these missile things at you that just obliterate the health, oh my god. Um, you'll see this thing that she's doing now, that thing just causes like severe bleeding damage on you, uh, which you don't want. If you bleed out, you'll probably die, because it takes so much health off you. Um, but let's just take care of these guys first. Alright, let's take them out. Nice and quick. And then we'll go back to focusing on her. Alright, let's just, you know, you can throw bombs. Take him out of the Bombs out here, keep her at a distance. Yeah, if you've got this, you can use fireballs. Come on. Just keep her away from her. Her attacks do stupid damage. And because she's got those spikes on her big stick thing. Um, it does cause a lot of bleeding damage. Alright, bleeding damage you want to stay away from. It's almost as annoying as poison. Can you drop anything for me? Nope. Yeah, then we just go around and collect these things here. We got some embers, ester shards, all that kind of stuff. All of the stuff that you need for this point in the game. Okay, always explore around different options, see where places take you. If there's any items of value, you want to get on them pretty sharpish. You know, there's so many different paths in this game as well, you always want to just explore as many places as you can. Watch out for these guys, because they're pretty annoying with their stupid little blues. Alright, always explore the path possible. Use the dodge. Try and keep your health up high as well. You know. If you take some damage, you know, if it's not major, don't stress about it, but you know, keep your keep your health up high because a lot of these enemies do stupid amounts of damage. Like, even though it's early game, you can die very, very quickly if you're not careful. Okay, so like I said, exploring around, getting some bombs, getting some bits. 
Um, I'm gonna want to go up there and take this guy out. Boom, boom. Let me hear you say well. Okay, so this is part of a game here where if you want to join a specific coven, all right, this is where you need to be. All right, you need to go, and there's that guy walking. All right, you can climb inside his back. You can climb inside that cage, and it will take you to an area where you can go and join a specific coven, if that is something you're interested in. Um, you know, always watch out for these as well. All right, so you can talk to this one. So come into the cage and become none become Nana Shade. Alright, so that's him talking about that uh, particular guy there. You can climb in the back and you can become a member of that coven. Alright, so in order to get here, just a quick recap guys. You're just going to want to follow that bridge and come around this side entrance here. Um, what I'll do is, you know what, I'll show you. I'll, I'll climb into the cage and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what's going on. Seems like it's hidden down here. Negativo. So yeah, I climb up here, and we're going to climb into his cage and go and join that coven. I'm not going to join the coven because it's not my type of coven, but I will just show you so you guys can see. Alright. Yeah, I don't think he'll attack you. Um, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think he attacks, but yeah, like you can examine it and you can climb inside it. But you know, first we're going to explore this area, make sure there's any items kicking about. If there's one just there. Wow. So that sucked. Um. Hmm. So let's just climb inside this cage then, shall we? I'll pick up that item later when I get to that point in the game. So yeah, this is a little secret thing that a lot of people don't know about. Um, where you can go and join a coven. So he's going to go and take you there. Why have I got this song stuck in my head? Okay, so here we are. Alright, we are in this area. Where we can go do bits. Alright. Hmm, this place looks awfully familiar. I wonder why I recognise it. I think we're going to find out pretty soon. What's well, on? This pit is for hollows. Or perhaps you are a hollow. <laughs> yes, yes. Then we're it's important to know, but we'll all be mad soon enough. Mm -hmm. Beware. The shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart. Okay, so mound makers, alright. <laughs> um, this is a way that to mine. join. This pit is for you. <laughs> okay, so he gives you a bone and everything like that. So if you want to join the mound makers, okay. Um, Malformed vertebrae found in ma by the mad with a queer symbol on the inside, proof of the shackles of the gods, equipped to pledge oneself to the mound makers' covenant. The mound makers wish only to add to their mounds, becoming mad spirits wherever summoned as cooperators or invaders. Okay, so basically, if you want to be able to get summoned into another player's world but still be able to kill them, or you want to just cause hassle, join the mound makers. All right, they are, you know, it's a good coven, but for me, it's not my type. Alright, I don't I prefer to be a cooperator rather than a nuisance. Um you know, so that's fine. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna take one of them homeward bones. and um, we'll go to the last bonfire, I rest that and continue from there. So yep, yeah, if you wanna join them, you know, you do get pretty good um perks for being in that mount for, for being in that coven. Uh, once you start collecting 
vertebrae, you start collecting all the bits that you need, then you can level up your uh, affiliation with that coven and you get pretty cool stuff. So, yep, yeah, if that's what you want to do, you want to go into other players' worlds and just cause hassle, then that is definitely one of the covens for you. Oh, we have a summon sign here. Who is this? Should we summon the Lord of Blades? Lord of Blades. Yeah, I'll summon you in. We're going to kick some ass together. No? No? Okay, I, I guess not. No ass kicking today. Kick some ass on my own then. So, yeah, so what we got? Oh, rubbish. My favourite. Cool, so, yeah, as you can see, all these enemies are spawned again, which is. Oh, he has joined. Hey, nice. Yeah, so you can choose to go and fight all them again if you really want to, just for the souls, but. Personally, I don't bother. Okay, so you can either choose to go this way or you can choose to go that way. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to take this route. I'm a little peek in here. See what's going on. Ooh. Ooh. There's something here. Oh, these things. This is why having a sword is great. Because if you just use that R2, that stab attack, it does a ton of damage. Okay, so this is really important that you pay attention to this, alright, because this is how you join my favourite coven, alright, if you take this route, alright, you come in here, okay, if you follow this staircase down, it takes you to this direction, which is where you need to go, but you want to get in here, which you can't do from down here, so you have to go back up the stairs, make sure you chop that down, get that item, later on, and you're going to want to drop down here, this hole, alright, and you're going to want to Drink that Estus soup. Alright, and then you're going to want to take this item here. Warrior of Sunlight is what you want. Alright, I absolutely adore this coven. Alright, it turns your summon sign gold. And, you know, you, you just shine bright gold whenever you enter someone's um, game. And also, if you do choose to level up your miracles, you get lightning spears that you can launch at people. You feel like fucking huge, mate. It's clock. Alright, so definitely advise joining them because I just think they're awesome. Um, but like I said, I'm definitely a cooperator. Like, I prefer to go into other players' worlds and I prefer to help them out. So that's worth a mention there as well. Cool, so we'll continue on. Searching everywhere, far and wild, and trying to find the things we need to survive. Cool, 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 right. Whoa. As you can see, that's one of those bloody things with that she could get to call Yeah. And she just messes your day up. Like, seriously, so you're just gonna... Dodge this thing. And climb up here and take her out. ASAP. You know, she's a terrible pain in the dick. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so now that she's taken care of, you can just carry on, have a look around. There are items hidden. Why oh, there's an item hidden there? Oh, what a look! And there's this thing. Oh, kill that. Uh, we're being invaded. That is fine. That happens. All right. He's he just happens to invade you every single time you come to this part of the game. And here's here's my friend. He's coming to help me. Take on this motherfucker. Alright, he is a massive pain in the ass, but if there are two of you, 
it gets it gets a lot. Of Okay, so that's him taken care of. Nice and simple. Alright, you do get a stupid amount of souls. And there's one of those vertebrae shackles, right, which is what you need. Nice. Okay, we'll let the bonfire. Alrighty then. We continue onwards. Okay, this is where this big giant guy with his bow arrow becomes a pain in the ass. Because you just gonna continuously fire arrows and they're big ass arrows as well. So, you know, they cause some pain. Um, which is pretty annoying because there's some really good items at this point in the game. I don't want to be aware of, as you can see. He's just firing these mahusive arrows, just destroying everything. So you're going to want to keep an eye on where they're going. This one looks like his head then. Straight for us. Right, let's go. Um, a lot of these items, don't worry about them right now, you can pick them up later, but one thing you do want to grab is this thing here. Undead Bone Shard, alright, they are turbo important. Uh, really, really good to get out of the game. This is where you can, you know, try and pick up some of these items if you really want to. But, first things first, get into this building. Alright, don't worry about these guys, just put them as tight as they can. Oh my god, that's the game here. Okay, we're back. Grab all the items you can! All of them. All of the white birches and everything. These turn you invisible, which means you can get back to Oh my lord. Run, doggy, run, doggy, run, 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 run away. Okay, so me and this dude are going to go and do some bits, I'm guessing. Um, I might use him to take on this optional boss that you have coming up here. Uh, the Cursed Greatwood. Alright, this boss. Yes, although it's optional, is definitely worth doing because simply for the fact no that way I want to fight the boss Should we fight the boss mm, okay um, because you when you defeat it you get a transposing kiln and that will allow you to use boss souls to create weapons armor rings etc etc so I would definitely recommend doing it it is quite an annoying boss but once you understand how to beat it it's not too bad um, it's just frustrating more than anything else because attacks do stupid damage. Um, yeah, so let's just go up here, collect any other bits and bobbies that we need. Right, let's grab this real quick. All the souls. Look at that. Okay, okay. And. This guy is a pain in my dick hole. Stay away from those barrels. Box of barrels is going to blow you to high time, which sucks. This is one part of the game I can never figure out is how I'm supposed to get to the other side of this door. I can never, I've never been able to figure it out. Um, so if anybody has any ideas, please hit me up in the comment section down below and let me know how to do this because I have no idea. Let's just drop down here, ever so gently. Matey boy's off, he's just away doing his thing. Ok, 
Okay, come up here. It yeah, looks like he's just killed everything for me, which is decent. It's nice to have a player like that, someone that will help you. Well, I I the Pyromancer. Alright, this guy, uh, if you're playing class I am, a Pyromancer read. class, you're gonna want this guy in your life, alright? He's super important, alright? Um, so he will be able to give you Pyromancies, etc, etc, for later on in the game when you want to become like stupidly overpowered and blow shit up. Okay, so now we've done that, we can head back in this direction. There, I can't remember. Um, so, what we're going to do is. Let me hear that. Wait, oh. Um, oh, we're nearly at the two hour point. Okay, so here we have a little shortcut. These rats. Blood bite ring. Right, run up here. Open this area here, and that will give you this shortcut from the bonfire. Okay, so that's where the bonfire is, and now you can summon uh, yourself from here. And oh, he's not going to ask this flash collect. I don't know what you want me to do about it, bro. I've only got one health anyway, mate, so... What we'll do is we'll go and take on some of these bits. And we're gonna go meet, right, Sigward. Alright, Sigward is such an awesome character. His little quest line that you can do is pretty cool as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you now how to introduce yourself to Sigward. And get some pretty cool stuff for later on in the game. Okay, these, this is an annoying bit of the game, definitely. Thank you. Cause you pain and suffering. You can't take these things on one at a time because if a group of them come after you, you're really bad. Oh my lord. Where are you going? I'm after. Okay, that's him taken care of. I don't have any assets left. Got some bombs though, I suppose. So. So that's uh, him taken care of, I guess. Look at my health. Oh no. I'm in a world of pain. That little ring, you know that little red ring? That has literally saved my life. If I didn't have that, then I would definitely be dead now. So, big up. I was going to go and try and take on that frost enemy, but looking at my health, that's probably not a good idea. Uh, let's talk to this guy. This guy's also a follower. If you if if and if thing. <laughs> if thing. <laughs> okay, just run through all his stuff. For some reason, I can't go that way. 
think I just need to die, to be honest with you guys. I think I just need to accept it and die. Because, you know, I have no health. I have no way of getting anywhere um, that I need to go. So I think I'm just going to go and kill myself. Uh, I didn't want to die there, but... So now that guy's going to be back to his own world, and Patch can do bits in this world. Um, yeah, so you're going to want to go back, get my souls, and I will show you some cool little things for this next section of the game. Where am I? Undead Settlement. Oh, God. I'm so far away from anywhere and everywhere. Okay, um... Alright, let's go then. I can see my soul so far away from here today. Die, bitch. Die, bitch. Off. No. Run away. I can deal with, you know what I mean? The other, these things are just annoying. You know, just unnecessarily annoying as well. It's not even like... Let's take one of these real quick. Back up. Get my, my power! I can't do it, Cotton. I've just nearly got the power! And what we're going to do is get my souls back. And I'm trying to decide whether I should kill the, the boss first, or whether just you know, you know, I'll take I'll I'll go and see secret and stuff first. I'll go and do that part. That's great, right? That thing has fallen off. It's fine. I can live with that. He's only going to take on one of these guys. This is why the pyramids are so much fun, because you can just run and throw fireballs. Alright, if you're new to the game, it's a goopy class. It's not the class I personally use um, a lot, but I do enjoy playing as a pyromancer, just for the state is that I can get OP pretty quick. Uh, yes, I've taken an interest in her, blah, 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 blah. Alright, there is probably another way to get to her, but I just always end up jumping. I jump down there and go get her that way. So if there's another way, again, hit me up in the comments and let me know I am not that attuned with Dark Souls as much. So here comes Sigurd. Alright, he's going to come up on this elevator. He's going to be like, hmm, hmm, hmm. He's got to talk to him a couple of times, run through all the dialogue options with him. Okay, so talk to him. Alright, so he's like, I want to go up, but I can't. So all you gotta do is just run and then dive out of the way, send that elevator down and the next elevator will come. Which can take you upwards to go and fight a big fire demon with Sigurd and start off his quest line. Alright, so take this up to the top, take out the big giant, um, so he doesn't keep firing arrows at you all the time because it is terrible annoying. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll run over here, pick up this item. Bunch of souls in there. And we will take on this guy. So we'll talk to him. I'll give you the branch. Start fighting. If you're an archer class, you block off the Alright, which extends the distance of your bows, so you can target things from really far away, which is really good. Um, yes. 
Now on your way down here, you're going to notice there's this little area. Just roll onto it. This area here. Okay, and this will allow you to continue the little quest with Sigward. Alright, talk to him. Ah, mm. uh, He's going to talk about this big fire demon that's kicking about. Um, and yes, so we're going to go fight that. Now, do not let Sigward die in this fight. Alright, if he dies, that's it. Obviously, the quest line is over. So help him much out as much as you possibly can. Um, it is not the easiest of fights, but you know you've got some bits and bobs here that you can utilize. Uh, I'm going to use some resin, um, you know, just to get that electricity effect going on. You know, what, I might even stick some of these on and some of these as well. So I've got I've got a good amount of stuff kicking about. This is where he gets annoyed at you though. He's like, you should have waited! But, you know, he will come to your rescue. Don't worry about it. He will come and save the day, as Secret does. As you can see, fire is Well, So here he comes, he's gonna come along. And you might want to just get out of the way. Uh, as you can see, ah! this is your day. Takes up field, and run right back here and go and assist Mr. Seward. Dying. And coming up. As you can see, you've got LCC on the side. Look how much damage I'm doing. Eight. Nearly. Well, simple. Alright, get yourself a nice fire gem. And Siegbro's just going to chill out. Alright, chat to him. He's going to give you a Siegbro. And he will also give you... He will also give you the toast emoji as well. Which is great. Alright, so he's going to have a little nap. He just goes to sleep. Alright, go around here, pick up some more items, and take it from... Alright, something is going to drop on your head as soon as you can like that. Pretty sure. Oh no, I don't. My bad. Come along here. Oh, it's this one. It's this. As soon as you can like this. Um, there is another couple of items kicking around around here as well. You can see one over there. And there is an item, I think it's just below me actually, as well. But we'll go and collect that in a sec. Once we get past this point. Okay, there's a doggo. You 
can use the other attack on the other but it's not very effective. Um, so I just stick to the R1 attack. Because, you know, R2 is good for some enemies, but these, not so much. Just thought I would point that out. Save you making the same mistakes. Okay, this is where we're going to get some rings and some bits. Alright, for later in the game that are stupidly important. Alright, this ring, Flynn's ring, alright, this... I like the ring a lot if you're happy playing with negative armor or anything, because what this ring does is the lower your equipment load is, the more damage you do. Okay, so if you're, you know, hardly got any armor on at all, like say for example you were wearing this and, you know, them and that's it you're going to do a lot more damage um but personally i like to have that armor because i am always up close and personal with the enemies so okay so this bit here is really really important all right there is a ring down here that you're going to want to get all right so make sure you've got full health because you're going to be doing a lot of jumping and taking damage all right so what you're going to do is you're going to come to the end of this building here all right and you're going to drop down to here all right Take a little bit of damage off you. And then you're going to want to get over to this building here. So just roll off the edge there. And come through this doorway. Alright, just double check the area. I don't think there's any other items here. Just double check. Oh, there is. Homeward bones. Nice. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to then roll onto that platform. Just there next to where my head is. Alright, you're going to do like a jump roll onto that and then drop the rest of the way down. If you miss it, you will probably die. I can't remember if you do or not. But you want to drop onto that, like so. Right, then once you're here, just drop down. All right, and you're going to take this. The Chlorinthy Ring. In my personal view, one of the best rings in the game. Raises stamina recovery speed. All right, so if you're in there and you're fighting a lot, pushes your stamina very, very quick. If I just swing my sword a couple of times, right? So quickly the stamina goes back up. Look at that. Boom. Straight back to the top again. Alright, and you get the mirror vest, gloves and trousers, which is always good. Alright, very useful. Little armor set there if you want to wear it. Um, I will just show you the stats. Okay, so as you can see, you take a lot more damage absorption from physical. Uh, your magic goes down a tiny little bit. Your fire goes down a little bit and dark goes down a little bit. It is a little bit heavier, so if you are wanting to use Flynn's ring, I would advise it. But I like the armor set. I think it looks pretty good. Um, you know, overall, I prefer, you know, the Pyromancer wraps the mirror gloves. Just because it keeps that little bit of uh, magic protection on you as well. Um, so it kind of makes it up a little bit. But yeah, it's not, 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 not a bad armor looking, you know, it's not a bad looking armor set. Um, so yeah, very, very good. Worth having. Okay, now for the next part of this is where we're going to do this boss fight. But first, I'm going to head back and heal myself up and get ready for it. Uh, I think what I'll also do is I might just jump in uh, another player's game, help them fight the boss. Alright, there is a scythe there, a great scythe, if you're interested. That is actually a very good starter weapon um, if you're in the start of the game jump over here and you can grab that. It's a great sight there. Can you just check? Um, yeah. So that's maybe worth having. Come on then. Okay, let's go. Ugh, so many enemies. We've got twenty-three thousand gold in position. We're just gonna ignore it. Oh my god. Hmm, I don't know if it's gonna let me. Oh. 
beautiful. Okay, so from here, let's go and fight that boss. Uh, which way am I going to go? I think I'll go this way. We're going to take on that boss. Um, the cursed Great Wood. Um, which will give us the transposing kill, which will give us the final couple of items we're going to need to be able to get power in our right. It's not in the game. Alright, it's very, it's really not impossible to be ridiculously overpowered in Dark Souls, um, at early levels, but the items that we've got so far, okay, so this ring in particular, covered a Silver Serpent ring, along with the Clemency ring, um, will help massively. Um, and the Titanite chunk we picked up at the start as well, uh, along with some other items. Alright, we've got another one of these that we can use to get more Estus uses, um, etc, etc. Okay, as you can see, there is no longer a giant there because we killed his ass. So, back out. Don't worry about that anymore. Just do your thing. They are to dying, but then you don't. <laughs> but the ring we're going to get for defeating this boss, and then using. Remember, earlier, do not use the uh, Valley Soul. Uh, where is it? This one here. That gives you a ring that, when you perform successive attacks, so if you attack maybe three or four times in a row, it actually gives you it actually will kill you, which is really, really good, and people do not appreciate how important that actually is, especially in a game like Dark Souls, where you have limited options for healing, you have limited opportunities to heal without having to run back to bonfires, etc, etc. So, definitely worth having. Um, so this is why we're going to go and face this optional boss, so we can get that transposing kiln etc etc all right so what we're going to do first though is we're going to place down a soapstone and it's nice and gold all right people are going to be able to see it and we'll kick about and we'll wait and see if we get summoned in see how it goes i'll wait a couple of minutes um you know i'll wait till it gets to about two hours 20 minutes so i'll give it a little couple minute break enough time for me to make myself a coffee or whatever um and we'll see what happens. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mic down for a little second. I'm going to make myself a coffee. And we shall hopefully get summoned in to a world somewhere where we can be helpful. I'm going to put it here. It's just a little bit more noticeable. I just love that gold hue that you get. Right, I'm going to make myself a brew, guys. I will be back momentarily. Hopefully I don't get summoned in because I need to leave the room to do that. <laughs> Season 2.
actually guys, I've just come up with an idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this stream because it is getting on a bit long. I don't know what YouTube's views are on whether I can stream for longer than two and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit this broadcast and I'm going to start another one. Uh, best way to get OP fast part two. All right, guys, I will see you shortly. Bye.